In this video, I'm going to talk about one of the app within governance solution called as app and flow inactivity notification cleanup view. Now, as the name suggests, this uh, is a app which allows you to view the app flow which has been inactive uh, since long and a notification has been triggered to do some action around that app. Either you can ignore the request or you approve the creation or uh, the deletion or archival for that particular app or flow or uh, uh, give it some time you know like uh, let it again reappear on your list and then you take that decision after 30 days or 60 days okay now what it is it's a canvas app it is targeted towards <coughs> admin and makers it provides a facility to clean up unused apps or flows okay uh, it is a place whereby you can decide whether you want that app to be uh, removed or archived okay you can mark app or flow as excuse okay so what happens in center of excellence starter kit is every say let's assume every 30 days uh, a service will run in the background and see whether that app has been active or has been used by people or not if not then that app will be surfaced out and then will be uh, marked as inactive and then you as an admin or a maker can make that decision whether to uh, continue with the app or maybe just uh, say uh, get rid of that app by marking it for deletion okay uh, there will be a lot of request which gets generated you can action that request one is you can even delete that request so once you receive a request from the system that this app needs attention so that's a request received from the system you can even delete that approval request okay so i'm going to show that to you in a demo let's jump into the screen now again in the screen center of excellence governance component is the solution which i am in navigate to objects navigate to apps Within that, I can see app and flow notifications clean up for you. I click on this meet Paul icon over here, click on play, this app will be opened. This is a canvas app and here I can see a lot of line items. Now, what are these line items? These line items are filtered based on this drop down. Apps all approval. Apps approvals ignore for one month. Apps approved apps rejected and excused flow all approvals okay so these are some of the categories through which this particular request has been created now let me show you apps all approvals now here you will see line items which will talk uh, which will list down about the name of the app environment which belongs to maker approval status comment whether it is deleted and when it was created and now this created on is when this request was created okay it's not when the app was created okay now let's go into this one of the request which i received on 29th of the fifth okay if i click here so you just need to click here okay once you click it you will be uh, navigated to the request again this will have owner email uh, created on uh, archival item type environment name approval comments now you can mark this app as excused you can say to the center of excellence starter kit that please ignore this app you know while you run those uh, requests uh, to find out whether the app has been used or not so think about it. this app is like say useful app within your organization however it is not used currently but you can still mark this app as excuse so that power uh, platform coe uh, background solution does not count this app when it runs a service to check whether this app is uh, say uh, need to be cleaned up or not okay so i can mark this app as excused okay once you mark that app as excused then this particular request will be removed from the system alternatively if i go into say I don't have a sample for this let, let me go into this first responsive app you know now i have already rejected this approval request ignored since not ignored uh, i'd say uh, and and this particular app request is uh, has been excused from archival i can even delete this record so that i don't want this item to be shown in the system so I, if i click here 
this item will be removed from the list item. So as you see, those items is not visible. Also, from a flow perspective, again, it will show you the flow which is currently listed, which says that let's have a look into this particular flow. If I click on it, it says flow has not been excused for a archival. If I click here, I can mark flow as excused or maybe I can delete this approval request. So the goal of an admin should be to, you know, like uh, if you see this list, the admin should take action on this list. This list item should be zero every time. Okay. Uh, now there are so many uh, items listed over here. So admin has to take uh, care of all these things. You know, if they don't want to do anything about it, they can just say delete this approval. Okay. And then those items will be removed from the system. So I'm just clicking on delete this approval and then uh, this particular item will be uh, shrinked. Okay, so admin, it's admin's responsibility to make sure that these all apps and uh, flows items which need some attention has to be taken care of and addressed accordingly. Okay, and you can again navigate to different views. You can see if the flows has been rejected and excused, if the flows has been approved, if the flows has been rejected but not yet excused. So you will see all those categorized items in here. So that's all about app and flow in activity notification cleanup view. It's a governance uh, for your apps and flows uh, controlled by an admin. Admin will see the information which app is used and not used within your organization and center of excellence strategy kit will tell you to take some action around it. You can either approve the request, you can reject the request, you can excuse the uh, app or flow or uh, maybe you can just ignore the request, okay? So these are some of the action which an admin can do for this particular sections. Thank you.